Countdown. The top 10 Halo weapons. Master Chief's got some guns, and we don't mean his Spartan-sized biceps. The selection of weapons in Halo is a fine art, a popular topic in the community given how many times this list has been done already. But as we reflected on 10 years of gleefully murdering our friends and neighbors, these 10 armaments clearly make a strong case for one of those two coveted inventory slots. We would nab each spawn of these fantastic toys without batting an eye. You'd have to pry them from our cold, dead fingers. <laughs> Number 10. Plasma Pistol. This underappreciated armament is far more effective than a lot of people think. With the ability to hold the trigger and charge the shot, there are variances in its functionality. It's best to use in conjunction with another weapon after the enemy has been frozen. As one of the more tactical guns in Halo's arsenal, it can be deadly in the right hands. Its flexibility, functionality, and downright satisfying results help it sneak onto the list at number 10. <laughs> Number 9. Sniper Rifle. There's no quicker way to seal the deal at a distance. Few guns can boil players in their armor with rage as they're dispatched in mid-stride with nothing but a misty trail to indicate they're no better than target practice. It's easy to imagine stealthy Spartans tucked away in some unseen corner of Blood Gulch, but the truth is, most Halo veterans can knock a pilot out of a Scorpion at 200 yards while running. No one dies accidentally from a sniper shot. Number 8. Shotgun. The go-to ammo sprayer in any first-person shooter, shotguns are a necessity when facing the flood and have left many a stunned Spartan spinning in their boots. Positively owning any close-quarter space, the shotgun makes the ultimate side weapon complements all the other options brilliantly, and its wide attack area means your aim doesn't always have to be on the nail. You can pick up armor bonuses all day, and your health will still plummet if you turn the corner and meet the wrong end of a shoddy. Number 7. Rocket Launcher. You definitely have to make every shot count, but few death cannons make your opponents rue the day they crossed your path, like the rocket launcher. It means suicide in a closed hallway, but it's a great way to send an explosive express gift from a complete opposite end of the map. Its incredible value is evidenced by its scarcity. In most maps, there's only one place to find it. This heavy-duty weapon even got its own mode, which can act as a chaotic vacation from the standard bullet parade. Number 6. Battle Rifle. To upgrade the Assault Rifle from Combat Evolved, Bungie created something more like, well, a rifle. Capable of racking up team points at close and long range, this versatile burst fire beauty caused a bit of raucous descent from fans, but has grown on us over the years. It's not flashy, but neither is the opponent you just killed with it from three stories up. It stands apart most for its quick gush of bullets, which, with a trained eye, all meet their mark before the victim sees them coming. <laughs> Number five. Gravity Hammer. When the well-placed shot fails to hit its target or a foolhardy fusillade leaves you low on ammo, it's time to tackle matters with a bit more gravitas by the way of the Gravity Hammer. Blunt and burly, a close strike is almost certain death for anyone unlucky enough to be in its way. But even an artful dodger will feel the terrible quake of its impact. They're all knocked back and damaged. Number four. Pistol. In a world of overheating plasma rifles and rocket launchers that are often deadlier to the wielder than the target, the unlikeliest weapon often ends up winning the day. The humble hand cannon that serves as a staple of the UNSC arsenal thanks to its magnifying scope and its wall of packing rounds. We're talking about the overpowered pistol from Combat Evolved. A few good shots are all it takes to bring down a target with full shields, especially when you're aiming for the head. There's a reason why all of its descendants pale in comparison to its might. If the pistol were a person, it'd be the type to walk softly and carry a big stick. Number 3. 
three. Energy Sword. The Energy Sword turns you from a marksman into a predator. Sneaking around to find the next victim for your glowing instrument of death adds even more tension to an already frenetic multiplayer. Things become even more intense with Halo 3's parrying. Violently colliding with your opponent and following it up with a fatal blow is incredibly satisfying and a type of experience that can't be had with any other Halo weapon. Number two. Plasma Grenade. We tossed a few mines on players in Goldeneye, but it wasn't until Halo that the concept really stuck. Whether by luck or skill, sticking a player with the glowing blue orbs makes for some of the most memorable moments in any Halo match. Once a player's stuck, their doom is assured, giving you a chance to sit back and watch as they panic in vain and their body or vehicle goes flying. And let's not forget the campaign grunts who thoughtlessly run towards their friends in horror. Number one. Melee. It's the tool that's with you at all times. It represents roughly one third of each match's death pool. This abrupt jab is the skull crushing punctuation to an empty clip. Its use is absolutely mandatory if you hope to walk away from non vehicle close quarter brawls. The bruises can change depending on which empty gun you're currently reloading, and recent games have added stealthy assassinations to further each victim's embarrassment, but nothing beats the good old rifle butt to the jaw. You can't pick it up, reload it, or use it from long range, but it's nonetheless an infamously evil body count increaser and the number one Halo weapon. Double kill.